Welcome back to an all signs. Aries the Pisces. No clarifiers today because it is surgery day. Shoulder surgery day. So I will do elemental quickies and try to get a small message out. And I'm also going to try to do a little bit of something different so you have something for the day after. And then it'll get all kinds of exciting. So Aries dealing with a fire sign. Fire Aries Leo Sag Source. Shoulder surgery, not looking forward to it. Had the left side done, sucky, sucky. All right, that's a player. This person's already in a different connection. Be careful of that one. See what's at the bottom of the deck. Oh, yeah. Big rude awakening. They might get busted. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two more, please. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, we got a couple more. All right, you got the knight. Okay, here's what popped out. The knight that wants the honesty, but honestly not really sorry. I feel like they want to put the past behind you and they have uh, an idea. If you took things slower that they might be able to make things work. But with the judgment reversed, you might not take that offer. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, disconnection, instability. They think that you can work on things together. <gasps> kind of quiet right now. So if they did come your direction, you might just uh, tell them you needed some time away from them to think about this. One more. Yeah, you want to do what's the right thing for yourself. So hmm, there's a little bit of a nervous feeling on your part. What else? And you feel like there's something that you just don't know yet. But they're going to argue this out. So be careful with that. They don't want this to be in a disconnection. It can be Virgo, can be a Libra. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Source. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Ooh. This person's taken off to be single. They just want to be alone. What else? kind of a candy ass it's like I'm taken off to be single even though I was romantic and all swoony small energy so this is kind of somebody that might be in and out but does want to be remain single at least for the time being it's not somebody I mean long term eventually maybe but right now they kind of got cold feet I'm feeling the need to say all right let's get a clean deck like I said keeping them a little bit shorter today so that I can get more out to you guys all right here we go Okay, Aries, their true feelings. First and most on your mind. Their true feelings, source. One card, please. Okay, so they think the world of you. That's somebody that has a lot of adoration. All right, we will get your feelings. Your feelings about this person. Your feelings. You get the Ace of Coin. That, uh, that's really nice energy, guys. This can be absolutely new. Are there any challenges between these two people here? Any challenges? Seven. Okay. So this does feel new. It's kind of like, do I do this or not? With the Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck, that's very, very new energy. We're going to put that on their side. can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but Libra and Taurus as well. This is two people that both want long term, but it's just starting out. I don't see that this is terrible. One more for how they feel or will feel about Aries. They want to come in quick. That's quick communication, but it's honest. If it was reversed, I'd say there's a problem. That's not a problem. It's just fast. How do you feel about this fast? The Ace of Coin is saying it's tangible. It feels like a new beginning. Potential for very good success. This is a very nice reading. Six of Wands reversed. This person might I think the only drawback is they might you might feel like they're leading you on you know right is there a problem with the seven no there is no problem with the progress that's the nine of cups so that's wish fulfillment guys that's really nice and at the bottom of the deck you have the chariot so this does look like something that is new but could move forward 
Yeah, and then you got the Seven of Cups right underneath that. This person's not confused. They're not confused. So they see you with a lot of glamour, basically, or that you're extremely handsome. They want to come in real quick with this passion. They're very curious about you. Um, this is new. This is new energy. This is showing that you and this person are just starting out. You're wondering, are you just leading me on? Because it seems kind of good, too good to be true. There can be a, dis a distance between the two of you. One more for how this moves forward. This is beautiful energy. Like I said, no clarifiers today. I'm not getting too much into it because we do want to try to get more out for you. Ten of Cups, guys. So this is newer dating. If you are absolutely single, this is a beautiful reading. Now, if you were in a disconnection from this person, it still looks damn good. Six of Wands would be the only issue. Big-headed, doubt, indecision, but it's more on your side. It's that I'm not stroking your ego. That's if you're in disconnection with somebody, but this still looks like the offer is there. A lot of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, Libra, Taurus heavy heavy cancer but this is really nice energy of new dating starting small planting those seeds starting small initiation seeing where it can go trying to get used to each other get you know see where it can go to go from the nine of cups to the ten of cups this is definitely something that could go long term long term dating so this is very very nice energy all right the wookie is going to get you a rebel card Nice energy. Sorry that they're shorter, guys. I know. I know. Sucky, sucky. All right. So you have get over yourself, pull your shit together, help people, give back, do good shit for humanity. Do good shit. I think you're getting good shit. Okay. That's what we have for you today, Aries. Okay, Taurus. Element of quickies and then a quick reading because today is surgery day and I'm going to try and get something out for you the following day, too. So... If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag, source. Let's see what we have. Ooh, this person is very interested in you. This is somebody that you had an ending with. They think the world of you yet. What's at the bottom of the deck? They want to put the past behind you. So this is somebody that still has the feeling that they're still focused on you. They don't feel like it's over. You may feel like it's over, but I don't think they feel like it's over. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, very nice. This person's trying to use their intuition to make a decision. One more. But that is saying that they're curious about you. They're not confused anymore. I think this person's going to offer you some affection. Mm -hmm. The Queen of Cups is somebody that has emotion. But they very much use their intuition to make this decision. But this is two people that are very interested in each other. So they feel that, oh, lust feeling. But I don't think that they're treating you like an option at all. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Source. All right. Anxious as hell. Why? Very stoic. Because they did what? Too fast. One more. They feel like this ended too fast, possibly, but they're all up in their head and anxious and concerned. Why? They're trying to dodge the arguments. They do want to try to work things out, but they don't want to, they're, you know, they're just side, side, nah, I don't want to fight about this. They don't want any arguments, so they're going to be a little bit more stoic about it. And one more, I'm nosy. Not supposed to get nosy. They're going to bring communication in. So you will hear, hear from that person. There's something that needs to be cleared up. But it does look like they could have been really stubborn. They, they're just sick of fighting. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ooh, the Hierophant. This is a decent person. Or they see you as a decent person. Flirty, flirty. Okay, so there's hidden feelings here. So they're curious. This is brand new. This is somebody trying to get to know you and see if you're available. Can be a Pisces as well. All right, let's get a clean deck. Okay, Taurus. Their feelings. Your person's feelings source. source. One, please. Ooh. 
Knight of Pentacles, small and methodical, can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person's taking their time. They're putting a lot of, I mean, they're chill. They're chill, they're focused, could be a little bit set in their ways, but very determined. So that's a planner type person. So they do have interest, but they're moving slow. Your feelings. Five of Pentacles. All right, why do you have the Five of Pentacles? Because you're disappointed. Ooh, I'm tossing decks around here, guys. All right, so you're kind of wondering what their intent is. This is somebody that you have a little bit of doubt in. What is the challenge or blockage? Challenge or blockage? What's fair? What's balanced? What's right? You feel like this person should be putting more emotions into this and you not wanting any competition or them not wanting any competition. The five of wands is bullshit squabbles and drama. Drama fest. It's like they test your patience. You should be doing more. You should be giving more emotionally. The king of cups reverse can be very hard to please and not happy. Like nothing's ever enough. And then you got justice. So it can be a Libra. Slow as hell. So the blockage is their fucking attitude. What's the potential for movement forward? Hey, we might have to Yeah, please. Queen of Wands. Okay. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. Who is treating you like the Queen of Wands? Or who is? Okay, so this is somebody that's a little bit more reliable. I feel like it's a separate person coming your direction. Can be a Pisces with the hangman. It's saying this is somebody that's really taken a time out. They could have felt the crisis, but in the back of their mind, they feel like you are this bold, confident, exciting person that they want to be around. One more. Movement forward. Strength. Hold them back a little bit, but there's passion. So this can be a new person coming your direction. Curious on if you are done with this Knight of Pentacles, who could be a little bit too slow and put you in a comp, you know, competition type bullshit. One more for the Five of Wands. For the actual issue. Yeah, that person caused an upset. It's like they went the wrong fucking direction. They could have put you in a third party with the High Priestess reversed. That's unknown things coming out that you aren't necessarily happy about. And then the Page of Cups. So this could have, this person could have involved you with somebody else. There's lies and bullshit here with the Seven of Swords. But I see new energy coming your direction. Pisces, Leo. Heavy Pisces, heavy Leo. Very much so. Getting what's due to you. Okay, so if you're in a timeout from somebody and not talking to them, it looks like you're going to kind of continue that. Does it look like they stepped out or were flirting or something comp competitive bullshit drama test your pit you know jealous envy <laughs> bickering bullshit games it doesn't look like you wanted to deal with that anymore here it's like that you really question their intent and it's like they bossed up and made themselves to be a bigger ass really so that's what we have for your energy I do feel that Leo Pisces, this is somebody that actually takes time to do the right thing and you wanting balance and justice, something right, something right for yourself. Okay. And the Wookiee is going to get us an Oracle. Stop obsessing. You are not the fucking center of the universe. Actually, you are. So I'd argue that. All right, Taurus, that's what we have for you today. And on we go. All right, Gemini's Elemental Quickies. You're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Source. Okay. Ten of Cups. This person has intentions of long term. And then the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, oh one more. Seven of Wands. Uh, no, I need one more. I feel like this person's sticking up for this connection, but let's get one more. Page of Cups. Ah, I could go a lot of different directions. One more. God dang it. Ten of Pentacles. No, this seems like this person, one, could be in a connection already and stepping out. So be careful. It's like, well, I have this, but I really want this. 
that's kind of like mm, protesting, resisting, not taking any more of one thing. So this can be this person, they're in a long-term connection, but wanting a different one. They could also be in this one where this, uh, it's not an, a lot of emotion, wanting the emotion with you because they're in one, like a loveless marriage or loveless connection. Just saying. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Fool, new dating, new, new dating. Seven of Cups reverse, not confused. And then you got the dreamy steamy card. That's like this uh, extra card in the deck. I looked it up. So it's daydreaming, daydreaming about you, <sighs> wanting to hang out, wanting to get to know you. Can be an Aries. That's really nice energy. Ooh, I like that. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Five, or oh, sorry, Ten of Wands reversed. And okay, so this person's an emotional manipulator. I feel like you just dropped it because you weren't dealing with the manipulation anymore. One more. It's like I'm done with this shit. That or they did. Keep in mind we are looking at their energy. No, they could have juggled you between another another person. They might come back. They might come back if they came back. See what your energy would be. Some of you'd want them. That's the Three of Cups. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Can be sh also shitty communication, but that person's cold as hell right now. All right. Possibly a Leo. You have strength reverse. This person could, likes to be very extremely persuasive and can be a little bit on the pushy and irritated side. What else? Ace of Pentacles. About a new beginning. Oh my, you will take my ace. Holy shit, really? You will, you will take my ace. Okay, so this person wants to get things rolling. Two of cups, they mean business. It can't just be that they have an edgy attitude. They could be a little bit on the jealous side or that they like having a submissive partner, okay? Just saying, they're a little bit controlling, a little bit intimidating, but their intention actually looks decent. All right, today is surgery day. So, no clarifiers. This is going to be quick, quick, just to get something out for you guys. All right. So, let's see what we have. Shoulder surgery. I think I'm going to timestamp at the beginning so you guys can listen. All right. Person on Gemini's mind. Their feelings. Person on Gemini's mind. What is their feeling? Justice. Ooh, nice. Nice energy. All right, your feelings about this person. That was quick. Nine of Wands, okay? So you're a little bit guarded. Why are you guarded? Jeez, oh, he's just going to pop out. Okay, so you feel like this person did something stupid or that they toyed with you emotionally. Okay, Source. One more for their feelings with justice. One more. Ten of Pentacles. I mean, they do have long-term in mind. This is somebody that feels like the, it's the right thing to do. That you're the right person for them. What's the challenge here? But you, you're you wondering if they're toying with you and just kind of playing games. Or you're afraid of the unknown. It's like you got this offer here and you're going, I don't know. Challenge is the fact that you're not with them right now. One more for the Two of Cups reverse. Yeah, there's a trust issue here with this person. Page of Pentacles reversed. There's definitely something about this person that you don't find reliable. Also can be that you're not interested, but it's like, don't chase me. Give me a little space. What's the potential outcome here for Gemini? Potential outcome. Are you not interested? Six of Pentacles. There's something with the balance. One more. Six of Pentacles, reverse, source. Why? You might feel like this is one-sided, but that full reversed kind of feels that way. So something that's delayed or you're disappointed. 
they need to boss up and have more emotions. So it does look like you are their wish fulfillment, that they want to be content, but there is something that is just making you cross your arms and say no go. It's underneath of that. Four of Cups. You're slowly changing your mind, but you just have a trust issue. Trust issue. It's like, are you really offering anything decent? Or are you just in to play and not stay? That's kind of what I'm getting for you. And it's like, I, and it's almost like you have um, played with this fool before, but it's almost like in their mind, they're saying, I'm coming back with a better offer. I swear I am. Look, better offer. See, I'll play fair. I mean, long term, and I am going to be more open emotionally. So this is really going to be up to you. Signs we have all signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on the Aries and heavy on the Libra. Okay. Like I said, no clarifiers, just trying to get something out for you guys today, so sorry that it's shorter. And the Wookiee is going to get you an Oracle. All right. You are giving away your power. Mm, don't do that. You're a badass. Act like it. Whoop, whoop. All right, Geminis, that's what we have for you today. Okay, Cancer. If you are dealing with a fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Source. Four of Swords reversed. Okay, this person is getting buggy and wanting to talk. That or they're coming back. One or two more. Okay, let's see what popped out. Okay, this person wants long term. They want you back. That or there hasn't been discussion, but they do mean to boss up and be the father figure. Mm-hmm. So... They're really edgy about this. Really kind of like nervous, but they're trying not to be. But they want to come back or they want to talk. So this is somebody that wants clarity in long term. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, source. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two of Cups reversed. All right. So there's a, a problem here. Can be a breakup. Can see that you it can be that you don't see things the same, or they don't think you feel the same way. That you don't put the no. That you're done. Done. Da, done. 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 And the <laughs> they feel they feel like they, they contributed to it. You might hear from that person with the Knight of Rods. They might still come back with an offer saying, "I will be better. I'll behave." All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Source. All right, this person's trying to plan scheme. I wouldn't trust it. I think they're full of shit. And they're saying that they want to compromise, meet you halfway, dodge the drama, but I don't think they're coming. No. I don't think they're coming with a reliable offer. You also have the Page of Pentacles. So this person's cold and shitty. They want to be unstuck. So they're ungluing their ass to bring uh, bullshit to you, basically. It's like finally making a move. They could have ghosted you. All right. Let's see what we have for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn. Ooh, hair font. Seems to be a popular one today for the Earth signs. What else? This person means business. This is the kind of person that conquers what they want. And what they want is a new beginning with you. So, ugh. Ugh. Getting together. We like this. Three of Cups. Woo! Celebration. Socializing. Mingling at events. So this does feel like something new, but it's a good, decent person. We like it. All right. And if I didn't... If you didn't see the beginning of the video, I'm having surgery today. I'm under the knife probably right about now. So these are going to be with no clarification. Just something to get something out to you guys. All right. Bottom of the deck, you have justice. Let's see what we have for you. So that is possibly a Libra, but it's balanced. All right. Source. Person on their mind and their energetic field. What is their feelings? Okay, Ten of Swords, hurt, feeling like it's over, or they just recently had an ending. Now this is somebody that wants to come back around and make an apology. Five of Cups reversed. Immature energy, something small, 
but they do feel they're remorsing they're missing you all right how do you feel heartbroken ouchie so you could feel betrayed by this person there's a big issue here as far as you're concerned I feel like breach of trust happened here. Six of Pentacles. And it had to do with the balance. It's like, okay, so Six of Pentacles is this generous feeling. It feels like you're brokenhearted and betrayed because of... Ooh, it flipped out. I, they could have been flirting with somebody else or that they tried holding back from doing so but the two of wands is two people that have the same energy towards each other it's something that pays off so it does say that some of you feel like if you went back to this person or if they came your direction it would be something that pays off in the long run the two of wands is very nice energy to move forward spending time together but it's waiting for the right time as well all right what's the challenge or blockage challenge or blockage Seven of Cups reverse. This person finally made up their damn mind on what they want. So they are coming back around very quickly. They, they got, I mean, they bought, ooh, they go from the page to the night. I'm not thrilled, really, really not that impressed. It's like, I'm coming in quick. I'm coming in quick. Six of Swords reverse. It's like, I want to come back around and try to fix things. Return. Bad timing, resistance. So what you know? Yeah, uh, coming back around with passion because they're not confused anymore. Well, isn't that just jolly? What do you view as the blockage? Four of Pentacles. You're not sure that you're going to be open to this. Not sure. Not that you don't have feelings for them. You do have feelings for them. What's the potential movement forward here? Potential movement forward for Cancer. Do you look good in orange? Four of Cups, I don't think you're going to take this offer. I think you're just going to ignore it. It's like, if you can't give me the, you know, whole shindig here with the Capricornia, whoop, 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 can be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but it's like, if you can't give me the whole enchilada, why bother? I'm not going to deal with this. And I'm not ready for anything. One more for that Four of Cups. I don't think you, I think you see this person as a, the Knight of Wands can be a player. You do, some of you do want this person back, even though, mm, if you reconcile, it might end the same way that it had before with the betrayal. Just saying, the Three of Cups reverse can be a quick affair, all right? Be careful, because if you think getting back together with this person will make you happy, they're going to take control of the situation and then it'll end up in not talking again. Be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. Some of you are just seeing through the bullshit. It's like, I know better. I know better. You say that you're, you know, you need to be more generous. Yeah, but there's a lot more to it. I feel like they were dishonest with you at one time. This is immature energy. It's not, you know, where is that going to get this person? Really not so far. They're very hurt. But they feel like the only way is up from here. So if they came in with an apology, they think that they can fix this. It's like, okay, MacGyver, what do you got? Crazy glue and duct tape. Crazy glue and duct tape is not going to fix this. But some of you will reconcile. That's two twos. It's choices to be together. But that betrayal is always going to linger. If it was reversed, I'd say you'd be able to let go of that. But it does not seem like you're going to let go of it. All right. And the Wookiee is going to get an oracle for you. It's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your ass. Pronto. Ouch. All right, Cancers, that's what we have for you today. Okay, Leos, elemental quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, source. Okay, eight of swords. This person feels stuck. Why? Why this feeling of... Not moving, overthinking a situation, could be a little bit self-critical, but they're not really paying attention to it. They're not seeing right. Trust issue, happy horse shit. And then, mm, did your friends on them? One more. It's like, I can be more reliable, I promise, I really can. 
So they're not making any movements right now. They're too up in their head. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. There's a lesson they need to learn, and they're taking time to do so. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Heavy on the Libra. You have justice here. All right. Why justice? Why justice? Ooh. This person feels like you could be a really good team together. This is a decent person. They want to make good. One more. One more. Three of Wands. That's saying this is a little bit of a wait, but this could move forward. Absolutely beautiful. Something to look forward to so they see a future with you. That's nice energy. And could turn out to be something long term. Ooh, I like it. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. One more shuffle. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. King of Swords. All right, this person is very, very smart, very intelligent. Be a little standoffish, though. Doesn't really express their feelings. And how they're feeling like <laughs> this shouldn't be done. Mm. They could have been in a different connection. One more. Oh no. Oh no. Bottom of the deck. Four of cups. One more. I'm nosing. There was a missed opportunity here because this person caused some fucking three party bullshit. One more. Strength. I think they're going to end up holding back. I do feel, you see the couple here? I feel like this person um, <laughs> doesn't want things to be done. But they could have already been in a different connection. Or see that you have been in one and then you aren't available. Making yourself not available, Leos. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. All right, we got a little bit of drama fest and argumentative bullshit here. Why? Why the jealousy, testing the patience, disagreements? High Priestess, because somebody's not opening up. Somebody's not telling everything. Guarded, quiet, aloof. And then you have the six. Okay, so this is somebody from your past that's not telling you what. One more, I'm nosy. They just want to drop this. They don't want to talk about whatever it is that... that they don't want to talk about whatever opportunity this is. They don't want to talk about it. Nope. You got the I will argue. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm choosing not to. I'm choosing to ignore you. It's like I, I care about you, but I'm not dealing with this right now. I've got other things that I need to take care of. Okay, let's get a clean deck. Alright, today is surgery day, so they will be shorter readings. Just trying to get a little something on here for you guys. Shoulder surgery from hell. Yep. By the time they're done stitching me up, I will be a voodoo doll. Okay. Person most on your mind is very guarded. Why the nine of wands? They're paranoid, guarded. They don't want, they're, they're just emotionally exhausted. And you over here, <laughs> you're feeling pretty freaking good about yourself. Well, isn't that something? So you're like, look at me, I'm Sandra D. Are you losing with virginity? You don't have any doubt. You're you're attractive, you're confident, you got it all going on and using your intuition. Ooh, I do like that. Let's get one more for their girded. I mean that does also mean that they have a little little left in them, but they're not really letting their walls down. Nope. They do miss you, but I don't feel like this person's reaching out. What is the blockage? That they're not moving towards you. Can be a cancer. Why do we have the chariot? Oof. Page of Pentacles. So you might, I feel like this is separate energy. You might have something coming towards you. And quickly, there could be uh, traveling around this person, but they might just be learning about you. So it's like not showing interest or there's a need to be just on the same page as far as being friends. One more for your six of wands. Using your intuition, but wanting to use your feelings. Wanting to express yourself. 
This can be somebody that you work with. Interesting. Okay, tell us more about the person that misses you. I'm feeling two people here, honestly. Yeah, this person and you aren't talking. It's like they're hiding their feelings. They're hiding their feelings. It does feel like they gave you heartache. I put the heartache on your side because it looks like something that you had to get over, but you're feeling better about yourself. However, that may have this potential cancer, which would be in the way of this. You know, what's the obstacle? What's the blockage? What's the challenge? The challenge is you're interested in somebody else. Well, it looks like this person caused their own drama, so we don't really feel sorry for that. You know, if they betrayed you and you're trying to move past that, tough shit for them. How does this move forward? What is the potential? Okay. You have the Five of Swords. So you got the argumentative asshole that was a liar. Liar pants over here. If they came back, it would continue to be just drama fest. Up and down and happy horse shit. They're, they're always the type of person that has to be right about shit. And they think they're sneaky, but they're not. All right. And on the other side, if you move towards this person, they're a little bit confused, but they do have some passion here. So that could, 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 could lead to something passionate, but... One more for the Seven of Cups with that confusion. I wasn't going to do clarifiers. I'm trying to make these quicker today just so we have something. Okay, they think you're confused about the person from the past yet. So the hold up is they're wondering if you're going back to your ex. Just saying. But I don't think you're doing that. It's not showing it here. There you got the King of Cups. So it can be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that's coming your direction. But there is that person from the past that's just like, I'm not quite done yet. Really? You're not quite done yet? So they they play you like a fucking Simon game. It's like they're predictable. You know their patterns. Don't deal with that shit. You're feeling so much better about yourself. Don't let this newer person think that you're confused about the person from the past. Don't even talk about this person from the past because it does look like you can work with this person there's two threes. That person could have put you into a third party or chose somebody else over you. Or this is just you working on yourself and your intuition and knowing that that person's just deep down there no good. Not for you. Maybe for somebody else, but not for you. They are hiding their emotions. They do miss you. But at the same time, they're so guarded that you can't break their walls down. It's just not going to happen. Nope. Mm -mm. So we have heavy cancer up here. Use your intuition. Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Air signs are up here as well. That person from the past, you got to let them, you know, you got to let that energy go. And if they come back around, put them on read. I mean, screw that shit. Who needs it? All right. And an oracle card for you. Time to let go. Move the fuck on. Ouch. Bit brutal, but hey, it fit. And the Wookiee did the shuffling for those. On we go. Okay, Virgos, if I didn't timestamp for the beginning, I am a human pincushion today and will be sewn up like a voodoo doll. It is shoulder surgery day, so I'm trying to get something quick out to you, so no clarifiers. But we are doing element of quickies, Aries, Leo, Sag. Source, they are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay. Ooh, cold and shitty. Cold and shitty. This person's taking a break. They're kind of just dropping things with you right now. One more. They do want to be happy. Give them a little bit of time. Give them a little bit of space. With the hangman, it's like they, they're trying to work on a personal crisis. I would say they need a little bit more time. Their indecision could get them a missed opportunity with happiness and also can be a Leo, but I would give them a little bit more time. They do have hidden feelings for you, even if they do act like an asshole. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius can be a Cancer as well. Why do we have a Chariot? Success, somebody wanting to explore, a lot of willpower here. I want to achieve the goal of the Virgo because they are a virgin. And I shall have it. Oh, they're too nervous. Oh, no, no. They, they think that you're nervous because you're a virgin. That's what it is. No, they don't want any drama and any bullshit. So they could be moving away from you because of the drama and bullshit. One more. That five. 
There needs to be a compromise. This person's coming in really bold, but they are bringing the truth. So I do feel like they're nervous. Very, very nervous. They also can be guilty too. So making a wrong into a right, that actually could turn out halfway decent. Also can be a Libra. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Strengthen. Okay. This person feels that the best thing to do right now is just to walk away. Just to walk away real quick. They feel like they did all that they could do. This doesn't mean that it's with you. Let's get one more. Strength. Having the willpower, but they still feel emotional ties. So, which direction are they going? Not towards you. No. They're, they've got, I mean, they're... They're missing you. They're not completely giving up. But right now they feel like the best thing to do is just not talk, not not do anything. So they are ignoring you on purpose, but it's not, it's trying to figure themselves out. All right. What do we have for Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns? Ace of Swords. Clarity and truth. A breakthrough. Clear judgment based on truth and logic. It's that I will... I will screw your brains out because I'm a toxic little fucker. And I think that you are just so damn dashing, but it'll end badly. Be careful. So if this person comes in real quick, uh, be careful, be careful, be careful. It could be just for screwing and then you end up not talking. And then they want to come back again and then you end up not talking and then they, no, that would be a repeating cycle. You don't want that shit. Heavy on the Capricorn. No, thank you on that. All right, let's get a clean deck. All right, no clarifying, just something fast for their feeling source. I'm going to get something out here today for you guys. But All right, their feelings. The devil. Oh, shit sticks. Why the devil for their thoughts? It can be manipulating. They can be a bit on the greedy side. They can also feel trapped. Um, or lying to themselves, but mm, or negative ideas and just lusty, lusty. One more. Four of Cups. So they're feeling sorry for themselves because of lusty, lusty shit. This can be a missed opportunity with you, though. Mm -hmm. What are your feelings? Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> okay, so the good shit's coming for you. Does it deal with this other person? You feel like things are going your way. <laughs> things are going your way. Things might be going their way and the highway. So you're emotionally cold to this person. Honest. But you have kind of analyzed the situation. And so you're standing, you know, there's like a standoff here. It's like, I'm not taking any of your toxic shit. So I feel like there's a period of not talking. But that four of cups... It's kind of like mm, stagnancy in the connection. Not ready for anything right now. I think that they're losing interest because you're going, things are going my way. I'm having things my way. My way or the highway. I like it. All right. What is the challenge here between you and this person? Besides them. <laughs> the hermit. There isn't any conversation right now. The hermit knows how or finds a way or tries to be patient, but they want to be left alone. So there's secrets. There's no passion. They need to be more honest. Ten of Pentacles, if they want this to go anywhere. You got the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Something could have been too quick, too fast, too shitty. We don't like that. All right, what is new, 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 new? You just ending this, just having had enough. Walking away from it, I mean, it might be hurtful to this person, but this is something long-term that you just felt the need to, not, not enough, not enough. You don't like toxic shit. All right, what else do they need to know? General, what they need to know, source. Better happiness, better things coming. You're on the right path. High Priestess, keep yourself excluding that person. Just stay the hell away from them. Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Moving away from them. Doing what's best for you. Feeling that feeling of, I tried everything. I, I want to leave the worst behind me. I don't want to have to deal with this happy horse shit anymore. 
taking a trip, putting the past behind you, things are going to get easier for you. Just let that pass. You will become happier. Can be a Leo coming your direction. Ooh. Yeah. You know, you need to you need to do this. You really need to boss up. Get your stability, get back on your feet. You need to drop that feeling of betrayal that you had from the devil. Whatever the hell they did. It could have been a third party situation, you know, the three of swords, but it is letting go of it and it's less hurt. So you are trying to heal from this, but look at your energy. Wheel of fortune, things going your way, things going your way it's, and it's timing. It's unexpected, but you're telling this person from the past, no, cold, no, 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 no. Not talking to them, probably. Where'd that hermit go? Oh, over there. They're holding back to be a little shit, okay? So they're they're playing this woe is me because this might have worked for them in the past. But I feel like somebody's going to be asking you out at least on a date. It's underneath of that. Yeah, you're standing your ground with the person from the past. Two of swords, you will not change your mind. You're not going to, there will be no change of decision when it comes to that person long term. You're working on something new. Yes, you are. And you're not as upset as you had been about it. So things are starting to ease up. Okay, if this is not your story, it's not your story. But it does look like a new connection is coming your way. I will say that that can be heavy on that Leo. But it's something happy. And it's definitely sort of saying you're moving it in the right direction. So whatever you're doing, good karma. Doing a good job. Bravo. Golf clap. Yes. Lady like and all that kind of jazz. So we have Virgo up here. You guys like to pop into your readings quite often. Virgo Leo heavy. Aries Leo Sag. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Gemini Libra Aquarius. All signs are up here. All right. And the Wookiee. Pre-shuffled for everybody. So let's see what you have. Oof, duh. It's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. You're grown-ass adults. Stop blaming others for your shit. That's for your ex. I really feel that. It's, I feel like they go, woe is me. It's not my fault. It's because um, I, I got bit by a dog when I was two, you know, just crappy, stupid bullshit that they dwell on that really, it's like, seriously, can you just let it go? All right, Virgos, that's what we have for you today. On we go. Okay, Libra, let me fix this. We're a little crooked. Okay, element of quickies. And by the time you guys are watching this, I'm probably a human pin cushion. It is shoulder surgery day. So I just wanted to get something quick out to you guys. So no clarifiers. But we are doing elements of quickies. They're going to make me a voodoo doll. A human voodoo doll. <sighs> Watch out. Wookie. Ha ha. All right. Aries Leo Sag. Source. All right. Temperance reversed. Why is this person so impatient? Can be excess, shitty behavior. Oh, they're pissed off because they're getting a lot, a lot of karma. Oh, what a pity, pity, pity. One more. I feel like this person has a temper. I feel like they take the wrong approach to shit and that their emotions are unstable. Just saying. They do miss you. Mmm. See what's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, not reliable though, so be careful. I don't see them reaching out. I just see them feeling sorry for themselves. That's too bad. Gemini so Libra Aquarius. And your Libra is getting the Scooby-Doo monster. All right. He picked out your Oracle card though. Three of Cups, something to celebrate. What else? reconnecting possibly back together possibly something too okay all the cards are out on the table with this person they're not holding back anymore there's no lies there's no bullshit if there have been in the past they're coming up they're squaring up one more or so they feel like that yeah they're definitely coming at you right coming at you right they want you to open up though okay so they want you to have a little more faith in them they want you to trust them a little bit more they are bossing up. So they are coming. This They are going to tell you the truth of whatever the situation had been. They want to be with you. 
they are going to, whatever you ask, be like, no, I'm telling you the absolute truth. So try, you know, try to open up a little bit if you have interest in that person. Because it does look like they're true blue. All right. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Three of Pentacles. We collaborate well together. I think I dig you. Can also be somebody at work. Why the Three of Pentacles? Why the Three of Pentacles? One more shuffle. Sharing. Wanting to be on the same page as you. Let's whoosh. All right. Quite a few came out. So this person is going to defend this connection. They feel like you are the right one for them. They're coming back around to talk. They're not salty. They're just kind of restless. But they do feel like you are the one for them. Okay. Judgment also came out. So it does look like a decent mm, right, reconciliation or somebody that's just restless to tell you, hey, this is how I feel about you. I feel like you're the right one because it doesn't have to be somebody from the past, but they do want to get on the same page as you and they are mm, trying to have the courage to do this, I want to say. They want the recognition from you. So there could have been a period of them not telling you how they felt and all of a sudden it's like, Tarot vomit. Blah, I love you. Blah, I really like you. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm not talking to you. No, we're not talking to you. Why? We're talking to you. There's a concern with the stability and a lack of hope here. They could have ghosted. They could have taken off. Oh, they're regretting it now. It's like, hey, babe, what do I do? Did they ghost you because of a third party? So that they give emotion to somebody else? What's underneath of that? Oh. Oh, no. Don't let them come back and lie real quick. No, 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 no. So if this person tries to come back and it had been a third party, I'll tell you what. They put the burden on themselves. They screwed up royally. Oh, thank you. All right, let's get a clean deck. All right, at the bottom of the deck that I chose, you have this person that you're thinking about trying to get a new view. It can be a second chance, but let's see what we get. Okay, their feelings. Person most on Libra's mind. Their feelings. Okay, they're heartbroken. Heart is broken. They feel betrayed. They feel hurt. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed, but this is showing that they're hurting. Hurting, hurting, hurting. Why? Sorrow, betrayal, hurt, pain, heartbreak. Can be just that they're hurting from a breakup or a fight. What else? One more for that shit. Nah, this looks like they stepped out. That's player card. Holy crap. What else? And they thought they could do better elsewhere. Oh, it didn't work out so well. What a fucking pity. All right. Your feelings. Okay. You have the Nine of Swords. So this is something that really hurt you as well. It caused a lot of sleepless nights. Caused a lot of pain. One more. Made you feel anxious. It's like I didn't know what to do with myself. And really put you in a lot of doubt. <clears throat> What's the challenge? Why do we need to know this, Source? What's the challenge? Why the hell do we need to know this shit? Because if they try to come back and try to get you to open up, it's not a good choice for you. Let them go with their better person or whoever they... Mm -mm. Bottom of the deck, what you need to do is manifest a new beginning. Mm -hmm. Don't be confused about this person. Not reliable. You're not going to be interested in them after them having bailed. This is a candy ass. This is a candy ass that went the wrong direction and shit's just not going so good for them. What is coming our fine Libra's way that's better? Well, move over, bacon. It's time for something meatier. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody bold, wanting to initiate action, contact, outgoing, Heavy Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, and they're balanced. So this is somebody that wants to be intimate with you. I'll tell you that much. Woo! <laughs> and they feel like, I will 
conquer the Libra. I have interest. I will stick up for this. I will take them out on a date. I will, this is being a little bit forceful, but it can be a Leo. But this is definitely newer energy, wanting to take you out. <laughs> They're, they could be a little bit pushy with strength reverse and the seven of swords here, but they really do have good intent. This is something to celebrate. Socializing. Connecting with somebody on a nice level. I mean, can be an Aries. Aries, Leo, Sag. Sagittarius, very heavy. Leo, very heavy. So heavy on the fire signs. Anything else they need to know about that? This person is single. They're not faking it. They're not lying about it. And it could be a good match. Okay? So that's what could be coming for some of you after you let go of this. That pain. Ugh, yuck. So the person that cheated. Okay? There's no better way to say it. I, I'm, I can't even change that if I wanted to. That's heartache. They caused themselves by being a player thinking that going in a different direction would make them happier. It's done. You're just done. If they juggled you, you close it off to them. You're like, no more. No more. They cause their own shit. So you're still working. You still, I mean, you have the doubt here and the pain. The sleeplessness, the anxiousness. So it does look like it's going to take a little bit for you to, to warm up to something new. But it does look like there's something new coming your way. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag, very heavily. This person sees you as available and they are available. There's no bullshit. They, they go after what they want. This is somebody that, that, not shy, not shy. Temperance, good head on their shoulder. They want to get together. That's a cuddle bug. Cuddle bug are going, treats you well, feels that you balance well. You don't have to have everything in common with them. That's what makes things balance out. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Tonight we do Netflix uh, vampires and then we'll watch The Witcher for you next week. Or whatever the case may be. That's what we do here. I'm the vampire queen. Can't help it. He likes The Witcher. I don't know what the hell. Sagittarius. Aries Leo Sag. Look at how independent you are. This is you getting back on your feet. This is beautiful energy. Getting Feeling like you're getting yourself back together. You doubt the person from the past. You can leave them there in the past because that's where the fuck they belong. The world card says so. Yes. All right. Now let's see what the Wookiee picked for you. He picked you're going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Ga ga gather your tired ass up and handle it. Ooh, that's kind of deep. You know what I'm going to say? Take a fucking trip. Take a trip. Yeah. Let loose a little bit. All right, Libras, that's what we have for you, and on we go. All right, Scorpios, elemental quickies, guaranteed today. Um, shorter reading because today is shoulder surgery day, so I wanted to get something out to you. So let's do our elemental quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, I'm going to become a voodoo doll, and then I'm going to torment the Wookiee for fun. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles, this person's got something to offer. Ooh, this is brand new. And then you have the Five of Swords reverse. So there is some drama here. Well, let's get nosy. I think this person's regretting some hurtful words, but they want to kind of sidestep the drama and drop the arguments. They don't want to have to deal with it anymore. And then you got the Three of Pentacles. They feel like getting on the same page with you and getting back on track. They, they do have feelings for you. They want to let go of that feeling of arguments and shittiness and bleh. They want to be with you. All right, you got the Four of Cups for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What do we have a lack of here? It's like they're thinking they're thinking about themselves. They're feeling sorry for themselves. Well, whoopsie, whoopsie doody. Contemplation about what? Okay, delusional, what the hell? What the hell? Could be a missed opportunity for them. And then you have Ten of Pentacles reversed. So they're regretting an ending. Two more. They're not doing anything about it. A lot of passion here. Hmm. 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 Now I feel like they put you in a third party situation and they could have gotten away with it, but they ended things with you. Uh they're regretting the shit out of it. It's like, there's still faith. No, no, there's not. Scorpio does not deal with that shit. Mm -mm. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, source. 
Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. This is newer dating. This is somebody that's curious, wanting to get to know you. It can be somebody that is younger than you, but it's like, mm, I'm kind of wondering, would you want to go out on a date? I mean, it's very innocent type, playful energy, and it's something new. Very, very new. What else do we have here? But they're balanced and fair and honest. They could have resting bitch face, but this also can be them seeing that you've been through the mill and, you know, just kind of had enough. So they know that they better come at you real slow and very giving and very fair. But they think this could grow. Okay. I don't so much feel a doubt here. I feel like they're going, yeah, I feel like this could go somewhere. It's nice energy. You're a little more wicked if you need to be okay but i don't think you're gonna have to be with this person it's just kind of like you're being a little bit picky or guarded so try not to be too picky i don't think this person has any foul play on them all right taurus virgo capricorn source taurus virgo capricorn we have the ace of swords you guys definitely have some fresh energy here fresh is nice we like that but on the deck, you have judgment. So a new view, a better situation, clarity, breakthrough, something very honest. What else? Truth about, you know, this person would be truthful about what they want. It can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but that's really quick action coming in. But it's honest. It could have been like really sudden. <laughs> Based on truths might be an unexpected message that you have coming in from this person. And then you have the Knight of Cups. I think they want to offer emotions. I do. Use your intuition. They might also see that they need to come in quickly because there could be more than one person interested in you. What's underneath the queen? <laughs> You're not in any hurry to uh, be in a relationship with... You, you'll take your time. Not not making a decision between two people right now. It's like, yeah, you know, I can date around. I'm single. F you. Okay. Clean deck. Let's see what we have. Okay. Their feelings. Person most on Scorpio is mine. Their feelings for our Scorpio source. Okay. So this person can be at a distance, but they want to speak up. They want to get things moving. They're going to keep coming. They're going to keep coming. That's communication. Fast can be online. All right. And then you have the moon reverse. Okay. Why is the moon reversed? This person's kind of anxious. It could be misunderstandings here or trying to clear up the way they think because, ooh, look at the way they look at you. Queen of Wands, ooh. Very confident, very attractive, and exciting. So they got a lot of passion towards you. They think you're very lively. You are the social butterfly. You're the hottie. You're intimidating. All right, your feelings, Queen of Cups, ooh. So you're going to use your intuition. You're going to make sure that this person's straight up, not having any bullshit. But there can be strong feelings for this person and a deep connection. It's, I mean, you're acting more caring and emotional about this person and, and available. So, guided by your intuition, what else? Come on. Apparently, that's all you want to say. Haha, let's see what it wanted to come out. Taking your time it can be Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Taking your time before you open up. All right. So it's not that you're closed off. It's just that you want to be very sure of what you get involved with before you say, yes, we are a couple. That's the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It's like, do I stay single or do I get involved? All right. All right. What's the challenge, if any, Source? What is the challenge? Three of Cups. This person feels the challenge is trying to get you to commit. Honestly, that's really what we got. All right. Why would you hold back? What makes you hold back a little bit? King of Cups. 
you want to just make sure that this person is emotionally available and going to be the right partner for you. You got the Queen of Cups. You want your counterpart. You're looking at things from a new point of view. You want the next one, the next person that you decide on to be the right one, the last one. Somebody that uh, is a new beginning. It's making one hell of an important choice and a better situation. So wanting a better situation. Anything else they need to know? So this does look like newer dating for singles. Yep, 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 yep. You want them to come at you right. So it's like, give me the dreamy, stimmy, you know, stimmy. Yeah, stimmy. You, you, you're at a crossroads here with this newer person. But it is a newer person, so go figure, you know. It's like, if you focus on me, I think we got a deal here. But this is just getting to know somebody. They're willing to travel to come and see you, and you do intimidate them. I'm feeling the need to say. Okay, so we have Aries, Leo, Sag, a lot of water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There is emotions that you have. I do think you're interested in this person, but you want to make sure. It's like, I want romance. I want to, you know, to be treated like a king. I want, you know, I want to give and receive and not just have it be one-sided. So you're taking it slow before you jump into anything. You're not jumping into anything. All right. And the Wookiee set up your Oracle cards. So let's see what he has for you. Oh, yes. Take a fucking trip. Chill the hell out. Go see some shit. Do some new things. Talk to people cooler than you. There is nobody cooler than you. Ha, ha, ha. All right, Scorpios, that's what we have for you today, and on we go. All right, Sagittarius, Elemental Quickies, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn energy. Oh, that's why. Devil reversed. I will drop my toxic ways. Will you really? This person's changing their values. They feel kind of helpless might feel rejected they also could be dependent and argumentative happy horse shit they always have to be right Blah. one more no why would you want to deal with that but they want a second chance be careful bottom of the deck it does look like they're coming in to initiate contact boldly very boldly i don't like it all right gemini libra aquarius your Libra is on a mission right now with the Scooby-Doo monster. All right, you have the Six of Swords. Two more. Two more. Oh, and today is shoulder surgery day. So today's readings are going to be a little bit shorter. Okay. This person wants to put the past behind you. They, they consider you wish fulfillment. They don't think that this is done. They feel like they want to reach out. So this person's at a loss right now. They could have been ghosted. They could have been, but they're feeling left out, okay? So they do want to try to work things out with you and do consider you to be the right one that they feel content with you. What you do with that shit's up to you. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I said they're going to make me a voodoo doll and I'm going to torment the Wookiee. Ooh, I don't like this person's temperament. Out of whack, out of balance, very impatient, moody. What else? Broken heart. Could have been a third party situation. One more. The Three of Swords is pain, it's suffering. It's not always something that, I mean, betrayal it can be a breakup or just a fight, but ooh, are they ticked. You might leave them single, bottom of the deck. It's like, this has been so much of a burden or it's been too long that this has been an emotional poverty. I'm going to leave that out. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Taurus, Virgo, Caps. Thinking about you. This does not have to be the ex, but it sure can be the ex wanting to come back around. But it is somebody that has memories about you. So it is somebody that you do know of that's thinking about you. What else? Oh, and they're anxious. So they could have a little bit of a depression issue. I'm just saying. 
anxiety. They could have been deceptive. Could have been avoiding reality. They feel like there's been a misunderstanding. What else can be a Pisces about this? They want you back. They, I mean, they know that there's there's things that they need to express and open up, but it feels like you're not talking to them right now. What's underneath of that? Yeah, you're very guarded and very stoic. It's like, I will block your energy if you come at me with any crap at all. The high priestess can be uh, that gut feeling that you have. So use your gut feeling if somebody comes at you from the past and they still, still seem to be hiding something. You're not as hurt about it as you had been, but it's like, I'm not jumping into this shit again, manipulator. Just saying. Okay, let's get a clean deck. Manipulator. We don't like manipulators. No. I really feel like you guys have somebody that's a very intolerant bastage. We don't like intolerant bastages. Uh oh. Okay. Clean deck. Source. Person most on their mind. Their feelings. What are they feeling? Strength. So it can be a Leo. Why do we have strength here? This person's got courage willpower they want to be persuasive to you saying they want a second chance that's judgment that's bringing something up from the past how do you feel how does Sag feel about this person king of pentacles why the king of pentacles why the king of pentacles so this is somebody that you likely had a long-term connection with at one time one more shuffle Five of Wands, but you don't want any competitive bullshit. They could have put you, tested your patience and made you struggle a lot, making you wonder if they, there was somebody else and feeling jealous. What else? The moon. Yeah, you feel like they hid something. So it does feel like you're not talking to this person right now. It does feel like you you feel like they they were tossing bullshit at you, that they were brainwashing you. Hiding things. It's all about your perception. So it made you feel uncertain about the future. What is the actual blockage? Actual blockage. The chariot. So that can be a physical movement. But it's the determination and the willpower. One more. It can be a cancer. High Priestess. They need to open up. They need to express themselves. They need to tell the truth. The high priestess also, by the way, can be the other woman, other man that they moved towards and now regretting having done so. That or they didn't open up. And you used your gut feeling thinking about this and going, uh-uh, uh-uh. So if they come in, they do want to try to make this better. They will be bringing passion with them because they feel like the two of you can move forward again. So it's really going to be your call. It's really going to be your call. With a cut of the deck you have, yeah, you still have passion, but it's a lot less than had been. There's trust issues here. There's trust issues here. I mean, were they all up in your head? Did you create some of the drama that had been there? I'm feeling the need to say that. They could have also done that by not talking enough you know some people just hold back and then you're like what's on your mind and sometimes you know you can feel that tension in the air and that's what i'm feeling here for you but it does look like they're determined to get you to you know to crack your code and find out what the hell's on your mind well you they need to crack their own damn code you know it does look like they mean to have um, that they are a decent person or trying to be a decent person that they want that higher commitment with you and there's a lot of passion here so this could be a reconciliation or something that moves forward if this is absolutely new this is just doubt and getting to know somebody because it sure the hell can be so we have aries leo sag taurus pisces cancer leo this can be new as well. It can be. And you saying, I settle for nothing less than long term. Really meaning it. Somebody well off as well, by the way, it can be.
but not wanting the drama and the bickering and the jealous and the envy and the bleh, you know, head games. No head games, thank you, please, and no. Mm -mm. All right, and the Wookiee picked out your card. You have stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. Well, if they'd open up their god dang mouth, maybe you'd be able to do that. So I do feel like there's a, not shyness, but they just don't open up the way they should. And you just want to backhand them one. That or maybe I'll backhand them. All right, that's what I have for you today, Sag. And on we go. Okay, Capricorns, Elemental Quickies. If you are dealing with Marys, Leo, or Sag. A little shorter reading today because I am under the knife by the time you guys see this. I just wanted to get something out here, so not much clarification. Two of Pentacles. This person's juggling the thought of you, even though... <laughs> that or they're juggling the thought of leaving. They could be juggling the thought of leaving somebody else. So they could come your direction. They've got wishes and hopes and dreams and aspirations. It does look like they need to leave something before this could actually happen, and they're nervous. It can also be a Scorpio or an Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Source. Stubborn. There we go. Okay. Boom. Duncan, Tower, and it was kind of sideways. We're going to leave it that way. All right. Dodging a bullet or not wanting an ending. Which one? You got the devil. I think you dodged a bullet here, and I think they put you in a third party or they betrayed you in some way. This is shit, you know, it's like words that can't be unsaid. Things that can't be undone. They might try to come back around and have a passionate new beginning, but I, I think you're going to hold back. You got strength underneath of that. So I, f I feel like you dodged a bullet with their toxic shit. All right, what do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Well, really nice. Ten of Cups. Ooh. Reaching that blissful, true, lovey goal. Compromising, promising, a new, ooh. New dating, okay? Holy shit. Yes. Can be in Aries, but this is like new dating with the intent of sticking around. I like it. Ooh, nice. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Justice can be a Libra. Somebody that wants things to be fair and balanced. I feel like you are the right one, but they speak the truth. They do not lie to you. What else? Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, they mean something long term. Then the Eight of Pentacles. So this is somebody that wants to focus on you. They want to focus on long term. That's very nice energy as well. This is not a liar. Okay, this is somebody that's straight up. They would treat you like royalty. They would treat you like the person that you should be treated like. I mean, it's like, uh, uh, they can be well off, um, but very practical and honest and loyal, the, the most important thing. But high expectations too. Loyal, loyal, we like the loyal part. All right, quick reading. Yes, under the knife right now, becoming a voodoo doll with the right shoulder. Aren't you excited for me? I'm not. Okay. Capricorn. Okay, fresh deck. Source. Their person's feelings. Okay, there's that goddamn tower. So that's a rude awakening, something that was not expected. Very severe change. Upheaval, destruction of illusions. Feels like they caused it themselves, though. Why? Because they're a little fucking flirt. All right, what are your feelings? Your feelings about this person. You got the moon. You don't trust them. They make you anxious as hell. <clears throat> can be Scorpio. One more for feelings. Oh, you're done. You're so done with this shit. Ooh, just for fun. What's the challenge? It doesn't really matter if you don't trust them. Four of Cups. They're feeling sorry for themselves. Four of Cups is, you know, having this sense of remorse, regret. It's a missed opportunity, though. It's like this person's not going to make up for it. They're not ready for shit. Mm -mm. There's stagnation 
And they're almost like they're in denial and ignoring the situation. Really? So let's go with what is coming towards Capricorn that they don't see. What better things are coming? Ten of Pentacles. A feeling of abundance. We'll go with that. Stability. They like stability. Abundance. Trying to achieve your goals. And then you have the Five of Cups. But it's not going to be with the person from the past. I mean, you do miss them. So a little bit of holding on to that energy. But wanting to try to let go of it. You need to let go of that feeling. That's regret and remorse. Well, that's too bad. I'm going to put this over there. So there can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming your way with one hell of an offer. It's somebody that you would feel a very intense chemistry with. It is something that could grow. It's got nice potential. Ooh. And then you have the Empress. And you also have Temperance that came out. So meeting somebody new, somebody that's balanced, somebody that sees you as very good looking, but it's abundance. Major abundance. Even if it's just for yourself and feeling better about yourself, this is beautiful energy. Getting your balance back. Getting out there and dating again. Nice energy for having a shitty ending in the past. Nah, you're not dealing with that. I mean, you might miss that person. They come, you know, they, it's like they come to mind and then you, you get sad about it. But it's like there's better things for you. So know that there are better things for you. This person missed opportunity because they're feeling sorry for themselves, crying over spilled milk. But there's too many things that you don't trust about them. So you have Pisces up here. All signs are up here. Scorpio. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have Libra and Taurus here. And Sagittarius, heavy. All right. And then the Wookiee got for you. Fuck. Shit is about to get real. You need your people around you. Yeah, definitely hang out with some friends. Oh, right underneath of that. Make better fucking choices. I do think better choices, choices are coming, generally speaking. But abundance galore. All right, Capricorns, that's what I have for you today. And on we go. All right, Aquarius. Elemental quickies if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Source. Okay. Shush, Wookie. Okay, this person wants to... Oof. One more. Okay, this person wants to put all the, you know, put all the bullshit aside. They don't want to have to deal with any drama. They are going to come at you right and say, I am wrong. Apologize. They could be sidestepping some of it. They could have been a little bit, mm, we're going to say, sugarcoating the apology. But they do have good intentions. Just saying. All right. If you are dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gotta help you. Godspeed. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. High Priestess reversed. Why is the High Priestess reversed? This person and you are not talking. It feels like they're avoiding any confrontation. You know, like you're at Walmart and they duck out. Between a damn rack. Wuss. They're resisting talking to you. Why? Why are they ducking around trying to be secretive and shot? Because they're not over you. One more. They want to reconcile. Well, that's retarded. Okay, so this person is avoiding confrontation. What good is that going to do if they want to get back together? Dumb. Out. Probably are gonna get their ass chewed out. Just to get one more because I'm nosy. <laughs> Give them a little time. Give them a little time. They do they are focusing on you. Hmm. But they are defensive. Alright. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And again, the person from the past wants to come back, make better balance, thinks that they can fix things, wants to play cuddly, cuddly, get intimate. What else? You're my wish fulfillment. You're my hero, Ferris Bueller. One more. 
One more. They they do have affection for you. They do care about you. This person does want to try. They feel very good about moving your direction. Now there had been a problem with emotional poverty. They could have like taken a break and leaving you frustrated. But it does look like they have a lot to offer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. All right, this person's coming in, but they're embellishing the truth. They're not telling you everything, so it's going to end up in a stalemate. One more. You have two twos. Choices. But I don't think you're, it's like you are just blind to this. You're like, I'm not looking at this. I don't care if shit's not going good for you. What else? I'm doing what's right for me. Can be a Libra. Huh, huh. Do what's best for you. Too bad. So sad. You know, that that high priestess reverse on, on the air signs really irks me. Because that also can be when they reversed the other woman. So they might be trying to say, no, I never did that. I never screwed around. And sticking up and being defensive, trying to lie about it. Just saying. All right. So if you um, didn't see the beginning of the video... Shorter reads today because right now, about the time that you're watching this, I am being sewn up like a voodoo doll so that I can torment the Wookiee shoulder surgery. Okay, so I wanted to get something out to you, so a little bit shorter. Their feelings. Person on Aquarius's mind. Okay, well then. Well, seriously, they're not offering shit? That's lame. Bottom of the deck you have, they owe you an apology, but they feel like this energy is blocked. So you could have told them to go fuck themselves. That literally can be, go away. Go away, go away, go away. All right, how do you feel about this person? All right, six of coin. Oh, I'm wondering if there's somebody else that's interested in you, that's giving more to you, more affection, more attention. Your actual feelings for the Ace of Wands person. Well, that looks like, um, go fuck yourself, I'm staying single from you. But it does look like somebody else is coming in with attention. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Ooh. So you're curious and sharing your time with somebody else. That's what I'm feeling the need to say. Person from the past can pretty much wait until hell freezes over. That's the two of rods reversed. That's like major delay. There has a, I had I don't know when the last time I saw that much damn delay and blockage. Blockage. The Knight of Cups reversed can come in and tell you whatever they think will make you swoon and dreamy and you know open it no this person's not the right one for you so whoever pissed you off royally and i mean royally you're not digging it what's the challenge with the x just for fun just for fun what's the challenge with the x you can't trust them there's too many things that are not known with this person can be a Pisces, but you do not trust them to save their hide. I mean, mm -mm. they could have, it's like that was a waste of time. And that's, you know, what you're thinking. Well, that was a waste of damn time. All right, tell us more about this little flirt here that's got a, a little crushy crushy. Very curious, initiates the action kind of on the fearless side they have hopes they're yearning your ass so they definitely are sexually interested they definitely have some faith that this could go somewhere so that, that it does stand a new chance but it is a new chance can be an Aquarius potential 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 one more for the star okay so yeah sad Saki over there Feels terrible. Blah, blah, blah. We don't care. This here could lead to something that, you know, you're using your intuition, but it does look like the emotions could grow. I like that. 
Be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius. All signs are up there. But it's something that you wouldn't have so much dealt with. So that's like watching the seeds grow, but they they definitely could bloom. It does look like that person's watching you a little bit nervous, so they could be a little bit nervous, but more on the are you going to want to actually start dating or not. So they want to jump in. might be a little bit quicker than you're ready for, but they're restless, so they're bringing it to you. So this is newer dating for you. <laughs> I almost feel the need to say like they heard you on the phone with the ex just, you know, going at it. And they went, holy crap. You know, I just get this feeling like they, <laughs> they're like, oh, okay, be, be easy with Aquarius or you might get your head ripped off. But, you know, you're just basically telling this person over here that you wasted my time. I'm not dealing with your crap. Not dealing with your crap. They could have been unfaithful with the Ace of Wands reverse, but there is no trust. The Hangman reversed is no trust, no reliability. Wasting time is that feeling of uh, this person playing the victim and you're like, go get real here. They are missing you and they are remorseful. But they missed the boat. They missed the opportunity. So it does look like you're staying single from that person. But it does look like new energy is coming your way that has a lot of promise. And we like it. So we're leaving it. All right. We're getting out one oracle for you. The Wookiee picked for you guys. Let's see what he has for you. Meg. Better fucking choices. And if you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. Oh, chitty, oh, chitty, oh, jo, jo, All right, Aquarius, that's what we have for you today. All right, Pisces, elements of... Ooh, quickies, I'm kicking the camera. Let's move that back a little. Maybe not. Yeah, okay. So one flew out already. We had the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Elemental Quickies, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Wheel of Fortune reversed. This person feels like they got a streak of bad luck when it comes to you. Things aren't going so good. They could have caused their own bullshit karma. What else? And then you have the Lovers reversed. The communication between the two of you is off. What else? King of Cups. They do have feelings for you, though. I'm nosy. One more. Why the lovers reverse? What are they not communicating? They could have made you a choice between two. Just saying. And that's why they got the damn karma. Just saying. Four of Wands. Okay, so this was something long term. They do want this to be back together. But the communication needs to open up. They need to express their love. It's going to be really kind of up to you because I do feel like this person will try to initiate some contact with you. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Four of Cups. All right, why the Four of Cups? person's kind of in denial. They're, they're just really feeling shitty about life in general. What else? Six of Pentacles. Okay, so they're feeling bad that they didn't give more attention to you. What else? One more. Seven of Cups reversed. They're not confused anymore. Well, isn't that just damn ducky? Bottom of the deck, they're still holding back, though. Four swords reverse. They're getting ready to come in and, and talk to you. We're going to leave strength out. Can be a Leo. But they're feeling bad about not be giving you more attention. All right. What do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Eight of cups reversed. Again with the turning back around, trying to regain what they lost. What else? Wanting to try again, but they are coming back. Three of Wands. Yeah, they want this to move forward. They're anticipating that things can be better from now on. Looking forward to being with you again. 
And then you got the Seven of Wands. So, I mean, they mean business. They're trying to be strong about this. Could be protective over the, re the relationship, but they want the recognition. Stubborn, too. I don't think they're going to easily bug off. Hangman, because they've given this some thought. Can be Pisces heavy. All right, what do we have for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns? The Hermit. All right, well, the Hermit goes with them to find a way. So they have patience. They want to be left alone to try to figure themselves out and what they honestly want. So devoted, but investigating their own brain. Temperance is a balance, but there again, this person's very, very patient. Temperance can be the cuddle bug. Ooh, they know they got to take it slow. So they see you as ticked off. Cold, holding back, guarding your heart. Ace of Wands. Ooh, good luck to them. Good luck to them. You get the Nine of Swords. You're very apprehensive about this person, but they do... They do, they've really given this a lot of thought and they feel that if you're working on healing, this can be somebody new coming your direction after you've been hurt and that can be why you're a bit apprehensive as well. Have we dealt with this person? New, upright, bold, reversed. No, King of Swords. So it would be actually somebody that's a, a good match for you. Four of Pentacles, it's going to take you a little bit to open up to this person. Okay, so you can have a Sagittarius or a Virgo on that. All right, let's get a clean deck. Pisces. All right, Pisces. Okay, Source. Person on Pisces' mind, what is what is their feelings towards them? Two of Swords. Okay. Whew. Well, there's a standoff here. They're procrastinating saying anything. Their instincts are kicking into high gear and they're trying to use some logic to make a decision, but there's a little bit of shame in the choice. Why? Ooh, are they guarded? One more. Why is this person so defensive and guarded? Why are they so guarded? Nine of Pentacles. They don't want to lose their independence or they might just want to stay single. How do you feel about this? Hierophant. Okay, so you, this is why we have a disagreement. You have the Hierophant and you have the Hangman. So it can be a Taurus or a Pisces. But this person and you, it's like, I, I want a long-term companion and I feel like I've been hanging out waiting around long enough and they're they're pussyfooting around about it what's the blockage they're so interested in you well that's great and all but one more for the Queen of Wands I mean there is passion here but but what uh oh I think they have more than one interest and that's why they're not willing to commit. Hmm. What else do you need to know? What else do they need to know? Ten of Pentacles. I don't feel like this person is ready to commit to anybody. Two of Wands, you have choices. Knight of Wands, feels like something else is coming that's new. The tower, you might just say let it burn to the ground and go a different direction because it does look like this person has two choices and you are only one of them. They kind of want to play the field a little bit longer is what I'm feeling the need to say. Tell us more about the Knight of Wands. You know, the Two of Wands is people that have interest in moving forward together. They have, oh yeah, this could move forward. This is just like... Wow, major communication, major moving forward. This is kind of more the person that wants to settle down like you do. Mm -hmm. And this person over here is just dodging the bullets. They're dodging the bullets. It's like you give them a sharp look. They're not completely telling you the truth, but you're going to let them have it. So it looks like you're going to play 
um, I'm going to be treated better and um, I guess you're stuck with whatever option you have besides me because I'm not going to be treated that way. Mm -mm. They have other they have other options and they might not be telling you about it. They could re you know they could be regretting something that was said. Where's that five? Where'd it go? Five, 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 five. I know I saw it. There it is. Okay. They could be regretting something that's said, but I don't think you're going to regret what's coming out of your mouth because it's complete truth. It's a breakthrough for you. Somebody that's going to treat you better. So I don't think you're tolerating any of this happy horse shit with this person from the past. You're saying I want long-term or bust. You've wasted enough of my time. I've had enough. That's enough of this crap. I'm going for something that's going to treat me better. Treat me like I deserve. Be more abundant and work towards a, a full commitment. Even dating full commitment. Does look like somebody could be coming in that's an Aries Leo Sagittarius that has a lot of passion. Huge attraction. But they initiate the flirty messages and they're confident and motivated. The chemistry is definitely there with this person. And it does look like here with the sun that this would be on the right path to be able to move forward. They might need to break down your walls a little bit. But go figure when you've been treated like an option in the past. But it's bringing ideas together. So I do feel like this person would have common interests as far as goals. Look at that. Just with a cut, you have the chariot. That can be a distance between you and this person physically that they need to travel to come and see you. This can be somebody that you meet online. It can be just that simple, okay? But it can be a cancer too. This looks like you're just done. Done with that. It's like I'm, I've had enough of laying around thinking about this shit. I'm going to get motivated and make a decision to move into a different direction. That's really what I'm feeling here. So we have Leo, we have Aries, Leo, Sag. This person can be younger than you, but I think this comes in with the intent to be something long-term, but a lot of passion. So, you know, they'll want a longer, cur uh, they, they want to be in the sack more than they do want to be worrying about doing the dishes, let's put it that way. So this person puts you in a stalemate, they're all guarded. They're defensive as hell. They're just not ready. They're just, you know, and I guess that's okay, but they should be more honest about it and just say, I, I just want to be single right now. I'm just into screwing and having fun because that's really what I'm seeing here. All right, let's see what the Wookiee has for you. He had, I guess we're going to have to give it a shuffle because you think someone is lying? They are. All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you. Thank you so much. Many, many blessings. And we will see you next time.